Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'll be doing something a little bit different. I'll be upgrading my Sculfin S9 laser um, by replacing the 5.5 watt module with the new S30 series 22 watt module and also I'll be fitting limit switches and we'll be fitting air assist. So without any further ado, let's get stuck into it and see what we get in the kit. Okay, let's have a look what we get in the kit. First of all, the uh, the main component of this kit, uh, upgrade is the 22 watt uh, laser module with the shield. You get some mounting screws. You get two limit switches, upgraded motherboard, which has got also Bluetooth uh, enabled. You get the air assist pump, the air assist tube. You get some upgraded uh, wiring harnesses to assist you with uh, changing it all over. You get an upgraded power supply, which is now at 24 volt. The only thing you have to remember is to use your existing power cable, which can be retrofitted straight to this. You get a little bit of a, a kit which comes with a number of tools, some seals, a spare lens, and so forth. And some hardware, uh, the laser module um, focusing tool, which comes in the kit, and a number of other little bits and pieces. So without any further ado, let's uh, pull this little baby apart. So what we're going to do now is um, we're going to remove the laser module, unscrewing the back screws, remove the connecting cable, and we'll put that aside. Then remove the wire board. Now remove the motherboard from the mounting bracket, take the cover off and we'll get it to the existing motherboard and place it. And there you have it. Just make sure you double check it with the instructions to make sure you've got them all correct and that you haven't actually made a little bit of a mistake. There's one little thing you've got to be careful of. They're all color coded, but this blue one here, which is the power, does go on, not the blue one on the inside, but goes on the white one on the outside. So just make sure you check that and you should be right to go. Okay, 
So once you're happy and you make sure that you've double checked all your wiring, we'll uh, make sure we can get the cover on correctly, line all the holes up, turn it over, line all your little holes there, and just nip up the screws. Don't tighten them as yet, otherwise you won't be able to get the other ones in. A bit tricky, but take your time. And there you have it. Okay, so now once you've got that all done, we can put that, the uh, motherboard back on and we'll retrofit, we'll put all the screws back the way we got, took it off in reverse order. Now we need to fit this cable through here and as you can see it doesn't fit so we need to pull the top of this apart. There you go. I fitted the new cable and connected it to the X and Y stepper motors and we have the cable here for the limit switch. So let's go on to the next step. Okay, once you got to this stage, now we can fit the laser module to the unit. Here it is here. We'll grab some mounting screws which are sitting over here. Put 
if we open them up. Make sure you give them a good tighten as a laser module is a fairly heavy one and has a, has a tendency to slide. So make sure you tighten up correctly. We can now fit the cable. We've got that connected. And there you go. There's the laser module fitted. Okay, next step is to fit the limit switches. So we'll grab the first one. Okay, so when you fit this limit switch here, make sure you, you align it to the 16 millimeter mark on the scale. Otherwise, the laser module will crash into the frame of your laser and you don't want that. Tighten that a bit further. Slide that back, make sure you get it right on the 16 millimeter mark and tighten away. There you go. One thing I forgot to do was to fit the shield to the laser, most important, so you don't blind yourself. Check. As you can see, there is very little tolerance. So make sure you get this on 16 mil. If anything, you can push it a fraction further forward just to be on the safe side. Okay, we're nearly done. Now, the next thing we have to do is fit the air assist to the laser. And first of all, we'll connect the tube to there. We'll run that over the back here. Grab some Velcro strips.
Click the assist. And there you have it. All we do now is we'll fit the power supply and we'll give it a bit of a test run and see how we go. And there you have it folks, upgraded S9 to incorporate the new S30 series 22 watt laser module. Uh, can't wait to use it, so without any further ado, I'm just going to set this one up, uh, do a little bit of changing in my software, just to change the uh, printable area on this laser now because of the limit switches that has reduced slightly. So we'll do that, and once I've done that, we'll uh, give it a bit of a test run and see what we think, and uh, see if it's a worthwhile upgrade. See you shortly. Well, there you go, folks. The upgrade is now complete. It was very simple to do. Um, I would highly recommend anyone that's got an S9 5.5 watt laser to upgrade to the 11, the 22, or the 33 watt module. Um, the results are fantastic. Uh, very simple to do. So, in my opinion, uh, it's a 10 out of 10 no-brainer for me. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or uh, recommendations by all means leave them in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.